All right, so uh, continuing on this whole thing uh, with the serpent and the devil, the woman, the Lucifer, I wanted to touch upon the second thing that I didn't mention, which was the Garden of Eden story. And this will link, I think, a lot of this whole thing with the snake and all this stuff with, with, um, with what we're talking about. So let's do this. So the serpent, all right? The whole story with the Garden of Eden is that Adam was placed in the Garden of Eden. Now, <clears throat> before, I, before I go further, when I talk about this kind of occultic stuff with the Lucifer and how the devil's a woman, um, this is all just my own interest and thought and in looking into this stuff. When you start looking into the occult and, and things of this nature, it, it gets tricky. It gets tricky because what you the, the difficult thing about this kind of information is deciphering what is lies and what is the truth. That that is why this stuff is is difficult to understand because we're going off of connecting little tiny bits and pieces together without being told the truth about what really went on. We're, we're, we've been so lied to about a lot of things in life, and so we have to sift through buckets of shit to find needles in haystacks and try to connect dots and sometimes those dots don't make sense and sometimes we're completely off. I could be completely off from what I was talking about but I do know that there is a connection with all of this stuff. That's what I know to be true. The, the, the tricky part about this is figuring out what is the lie and what is the truth. So just wanted to put that out there. This stuff is, is it's a constant study. That's why it's, you say you study the occult or you're studying it because it's a constant practice of trying to understand and put pieces together and, and the puzzle is, is almost never ending. It doesn't end. And so you have to take pieces and put them in front of you and sometimes they fit and sometimes they don't. You gotta rework things and you gotta think and sometimes it takes months and weeks and if not years to try to connect the dots of things. And so it's, it's, it's difficult to understand because of that. It's, it's a constant um, it's a constant study into this stuff. So, this whole thing with the Garden of Eden, okay? So, <clears throat> Adam was placed in the Garden of Eden. All right. I think that the Garden of Eden wasn't a very nice place. I don't, you know, I don't know all the details about why we were put here or what this, or what the reasons behind all the details. I don't know everything. I'm just trying to connect little dots and things together that I find interesting, that seem to make sense to me. <clears throat> But, but Adam was placed in the Garden of Eden. And so, because of that, Adam, you know, God said it wasn't uh, good for him to be alone, so he created Eve. Just like he did with the Lucifer. But, what happened was that when he was placed in the Garden of Eden, I think, the serpent was already there. It was already there in the Garden of Eden, because like I said, I think that this world, this world is run by the woman, or Lucifer, the broad, because she was cast out. And if you think about it, Earth... is the lowest element in all of the elements. You have earth, uh, fire, water, wind, or air. <clears throat> and earth is the lowest element of all the elements. They go in order. I'm trying to find a good, a good example to show you. Oh, and by the way, here's something interesting. You see all these colors here? This, this this red, red, yellow, blue, green stuff. What this this symbolizes the cycle. This was this symbolizes the cycle here. And so what happens is that oh look see here here's the I thought that was the seal. I learned all this stuff from another individual and I didn't come up with that myself. But this symbolizes what you see on the oh uh, here here's a good example, right here. This is red, yellow, blue, and green. This is just like the Windows logo because it has to do with the different cycles of life. The beginning, the middle, uh, the, towards the end, and then the end. So you have like birth, then you have um, young adulthood, then you have older, like grand, older adulthood, what they say, grandparents, and then you have the beginning all over again. So this whole Go Green movement that people talk about is the end. They're trying to create the end of everything so to speak. But 
Earth is the lowest element in all of the elements that make up. So you have wind, you have fire, you have water, and then Earth. Earth is hell, or, or lower level of, of, of Earth. So that's the lowest element. So that's why they say the, you put people in the ground because they rot, or because of the fact that, um, it's interesting you see these X's back here. <laughs> you see? Um, so that's why they say you put the people in the ground because the ground rots, and then it starts all over again because, it, you know, like they say, you know, when you put manure or stuff into the ground, it creates nutrients because it's rejuvenating the nutrients. So it's just the cycle of how things work here. But Earth is the lowest element. That's why they say, Earth, you know, they, they mention hell to be in the ground or in the lower part of, of Earth because it has to do with the lowest element or the ground or beneath. But with that being said, that's... That's why I think that this this place is run by the devil or Lucifer because because of the fact that um, Earth is the lowest element. That's where Hell is, and in this going into this whole thing with Mother Earth, Gaia, all this stuff like this. Let me show you. The Jews worship the woman. They they worship the woman, so it, it's kind of interesting. This whole thing with like Mother Earth, the Earth is in the ground, the Mother. This, I'm not, this is nothing good. This is not positive or good or any of that stuff. I don't think so. This whole thing that people, you know, i got to let Mother Nature take its course or whatever. I don't think that's a good thing. I don't think that's anything good. I think this is just a disguise it's for Lucifer because it's the earth that the person was, you know, runs this place. That's an interesting picture. It kind of looks like Medusa, doesn't it? <laughs> I had a commenter say that, uh, you know, Medusa and the whole thing, like, oops. Medusa, all these stories that can't, that constantly revolve around the snake and the broad, it's always a woman and snakes, and I'm going to touch upon this with the Garden of Eden story. Oh, here's Rihanna, isn't that cute, with the serpent eyes, I'm going to explain this with the Garden of Eden story, Medusa. You know, the snakes. You got the snake, Medusa and the snake. Whole story of Medusa is you look at her, you turn into freaking ash. It's a nice picture, isn't it? So there's this recurring theme with women and snakes. I had a commenter link me this video. It was interesting. I watched it. <clears throat> but there's this recurring theme with women and snakes. So going back to the Garden of Eden story. Man was put into the Garden of Eden, which I think was Earth. And it wasn't a good place, because there's suffering here. Because it's run by the woman. Okay? Which is Lucifer. Continuing on that theme. And so what happened was, you know, he said he, he wanted to... He, he, God said, you know, I will give you a companion because it's not good for you to be alone. This is just what the story says, okay? This is what the story is saying. And so he had Eve. And, and in the beginning, I think Eve was good. You know, she wasn't... The whole intention was for her to be good, not to be evil, I don't think. But what happened was that the serpent was already there in the Garden of Eden, which is where you see the serpent and the tree and the forbidden fruit. That's why... Because what happened... What they teach and what I... I just from what I can understand it to be is that when Lucifer got kicked out of, of heaven, she went and fucked around with demonic entities that were of the serpent bloodline, so to speak. You know, the serpentine bloodline? Some people always talk about this whole reptilian thing. I think that's what, what they're referring to is the serpent bloodline, because that's the whole thing with the serpentine eyes and the serpent and the snake in the Garden of Eden. So she went out and fucked around with these serpents, and when she came back, that's why it's symbolic of showing in the Garden of Eden as there being a, a, a serpent. Let me show you something else. Um, there's this movie called Lucy. With this chick, uh, what's her face? Uh, Scarlett Johansson. I want to show you something here. Interesting, I looked this up last night. This is a website I follow quite frequently.
there's a scene, and I have not seen the movie, but there is a scene in this movie where you see the serpent eye. Here it is. Look, you see here? Throughout Lucy's Transformer, we see a close-up of her eyes, which keeps changing form something reptilian. This is this whole reptilian thing that people keep talking about. It's really the serpent, which is, I mean, it's all tied in, whatever, which emphasizes the fact that she is not human anymore. This whole serpent thing that we keep seeing in movies, like this movie is about, I haven't seen the movie, I don't know what this whole thing is about. It's like some power this chick has or whatever. It's funny how they put the lead female, the, the power chick, always doing all this kind of tough guy stuff. They put a broad in there, right? And so they show this scene in the movie with the serpent eye. So going back to this, with the snake in the Garden of Eden. The snake was already there. That was Lucifer, as we, as we, as with the biblical teachings tell it to be. There's much more in-depth story, but it, just keeping it simple. This is the Lucifer chick. This is the, the broad that we talked about in my last video. Lucifer. She went out and fucked around with the serpentine race, and that's why she is symbolic of being a snake, which is why you saw that thing with, with, uh, with this, because it's symbolic of the serpentine. And what happened was the snake tempted the chick. And oh, here's another thing about this. This this chick, this actress, Scarlett Johansson. I've watched this. Um, is it? Oh, I thought that was like, what is this? Is she wearing snake skin? No, okay. Never mind. There's this picture that for some kind of promo this chick did or whatever. Look at this. For this Jungle Book thing, I'm gonna play this. She played a character in the movie The Jungle Book. And look at this picture. She she played in this movie, oh by the way, she's wearing a red dress. That's the Whore of Babylon. That's the broad, that's Lucifer, that's the old prod. The whole thing with that. And she's, look, she's pictured with a snake. And she plays, in this movie, The Jungle Book, she plays this character, which is the snake, and it's a female voice. Huh. <laughs> but this picture, I thought, look at this. Fucking sitting there with a snake with a red dress. Here's a picture of her on the set of something, holding a snake. Here's another picture of her. This is the character she played in this Jungle Book movie. She played the fucking snake. And you with a female voice. See all these women and snakes? You see what I'm talking about? All these women and snakes and all this shit? See all these women and their snakes? Look at this picture with the frickin' apple, with the snake, with the broad. You see, you see what I'm talking about here? Women and snakes. Here's Lilith. That's Lilith. The snake and the thing. You see what I'm talking about? See you with the X. See you a little sadder. All these women and snakes. Yeah, that's real nice. It's real nice. Yeah. <laughs> we saw that picture last night, didn't we? It's funny how it all popped up with the related search of the snake. Here's Angelina Jolie with this freaking snake, this freaking snake woman. Playboy with snakes. Good lord, what the fuck what is this? See, that's the whole thing with the Garden of Eden with the snake. <clears throat> this whole story with the Garden of Eden and the snake, the snake was Lucifer, or the broad, the chick. This whole thing. And so, here's another chick with a red dress with the snake. Snake with the apple. Symbol the apple symbolizes the fall of humanity, which is the situation that we're in now. Here's Medusa. With the snakes, again, going back to this. Going back to this, the, the snake, the Medusa, the broad, this is Lucifer. It's just a, uh, see, all these characters that keep re reoccurring in all these mythological stories about Medusa and Lilith and Isis and... All these, all these characters, 
or nothing but the same, the spirit that possesses these people is the same one which is the Lucifer character, the, the devil. That sums it up right there. They just recurring all these stories that keep you keep talking about. You we keep hearing about in, in these stories and mythology and Greek mythology with women and snakes, is because it has to do, in my opinion, with Lucifer. Lucifer was a chick. It was a woman, which is why it's called Lucy Fur. People think it's Lucifer as in a man, but it's actually Lucy Fur as a Lucy as in a woman. And so the Garden of Eden with the snake. The snake was the woman. Who tempted the other woman because she knew she told the she you know the snake told the woman you want to have power because she knew in her experience being fallen in nature because of the first go round and all this stuff that God wasn't going to give her the power and so she wanted to get even with God's creation which was man henceforth why she went to the chick and not the dude And so I just wanted to bring this up. All these reoccurring stories about chicks and snakes and Medusa. Oh, here's a <laughs> here's a fitting uh, here's a fitting picture. Yeah, Hillary Clinton. <clears throat> so all these reoccurring stories. It's trying to tell us that there has been a reoccurring pattern, a reoccurring theme throughout history. That this is the case. That this Luciferian chick. Why is it that Medusa was a woman? Why is it that she was abroad? Because the broad was loose. So I just wanted to show you this with the Garden of Eden story, because I, I didn't touch upon that in uh, <clears throat> when I did the video. But this constant reoccurring theme with, with snakes and Medusa and the serpentine eye with what you saw in that thing with the movie Lucy, with the broad, it, it's trying to show you that, that they're trying to tell you something here. Oh, and this is interesting, this tattoo that this chick has. That looks like um, Iana or that whole thing with the owl and all that. It's the same thing. It's a cat. It's, it's I think it's the same thing. It's just, but but this is this is the same character. It's just the same. The the person that's in here is the same person as the Lucifer. It's just a different incarnation, so to speak, throughout the stories like Isis. Like you have Isis. You have the goddess Isis. You see there? Oh, here's that tattoo. That's interesting how that got pulled up. <laughs> you see this tattoo here? You see this tattoo here? That's the same tattoo that this chick had. Let's see, where was that picture? You see there? See this tattoo here? See that? It's the same one. This is Isis, the goddess of manifestation and magic and all this other shit. I, it's the same character. It's Lucifer. It's the same person. You see here? See the tattoo here? With the leg like that? You see here? It's the same person. It's Isis. That's the, that fucking Rihanna chick has a tattoo of Isis with the fucking snake and Medusa with the serpent eyes. And then this is Isis. You see what I'm saying? It's the same story being played out in different, it's just the same story in each time of whatever history, whether it's Egypt, and although, by the way, I had a commenter ask me if uh, the Egyptians were into devil worship or whatever. The Egyptians worship cats, by the way. They, everything about their symbology has to do with cats. And remember what I told you with the whole thing with the lion roaming the earth seeking who he may devour? The Egyptians worshiped cats. And what I find funny about cats is that they have they have eyes that are very similar. Why is my web browser doing this? <sighs> cats have eyes that are very similar to snake eyes. I just thought that was interesting. Why do cats have eyes that look like snake eyes? Why? Why is it that they look like snake eyes? They look exactly like snake eyes. 
I just I always thought that was very weird with cats. Why do cats have eyes that look like snakes? You know? Just interesting. Just a thought. Why do cats have eyes that look like snakes? <laughs> just interesting. Just very interesting. But the Egyptians worshipped cats. So, again, the cat, I think, the lion roaming the earth, seeking and we may devour this whole thing with the cat and the energy with the, that the cat... Um, transmits and why they worship the cat. I mean, why do they worship a cat for? It's because of the fact of what it's connected to, which is this whole thing I'm trying to explain to you. And so they worship cats and the sphinx. You know the sphinx? Right here. Sphinx is a cat. <laughs> so what is the Sphinx is? It's a hairless cat. <laughs> so, I just thought, I just kind of wanted to show you this because uh, I didn't bring this stuff up in my other video with the with the connection with the Garden of Eden thing. But the Garden of Eden thing is the same story. Adam was placed in the Garden of Eden because of the fact that, I mean, I don't know why he was placed there, but I think the Garden of Eden was what they say, Earth, you know, or whatever, but it wasn't a good place. You know, it wasn't a good place because it was run by the broad. And so what happened was Adam, you know, God didn't want Adam to be alone or whatever, and so he made Eve. And then Eve was tempted by the serpent right here. Tempted by the serpent, which was Lucifer, which was the chick. And she told the chick. It's interesting why it was a woman that was told, right? Because there was a woman to a woman. They knew, she knew that, that she, that God wasn't going to give the chick the power that she thought. And so she tempted, she manipulated Eve or whatever. She ate the forbidden fruit. And then she went off and fucked around with demons too, just like this whole character was. And then they got in league with all this crap. And so this is the whole thing with women and snakes, like Medusa... Isis, like the tattoo I just showed you, that chick Rihanna, right here, that's Isis, which is this tattoo here, it's the same person, it's the same character, and it's henceforth the tattoo with the snake and this and all that, all of it, all of it ties in together, and that's the, that's the story of it, I think, I think that's what we're dealing with, Lucifer, or Lucifer, was a woman, she went out and fucked with, with the serpent race, which is why it's snakes. And so, that's the story, I think. That's that's what we're dealing with. And so the whole thing is that <clears throat> the Lucifer character is the, bat, is, is the woman, the snakes, the Garden of Eden, Medusa, Isis, Iana, Ishtar, Lilith. Just one other thing. Let's see what pops up with this. That's Kate, that's Kate Moss, by the way, that fucking model or whatever. Kate Moss again with the, with the frickin' apple and the snake. And here's Lilith. Which was supposed to be Eve, I guess, I think. It's the same person, it's just, the, it's just trying to, it's just different ways of, different names of different characters. This is, this is, uh, Lilith, or, or, I, or, or Ishtar. See the owl and all this stuff, the snake, the serpent. Crescent moon with a with the thing with the cross here. Same, this is the same thing. So that, there you have it. You know, I just thought I'd I think I just thought I'd kind of make these couple of videos just to show you kind of what I think is going on with all this stuff. A little bit, a little bit of occultic information for those who are interested. You know, like I said, there's a lot of deception out there. Um, there's a lot of stuff out there that 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 you have to you have to sift through and you got to go through and all this stuff to try to figure out these answers, which is why it's a constant study. You have to always look into this stuff. You know, I don't claim to have all the answers at all. I don't know anything compared to 
the things as a whole. I'm just trying to put pieces together so that I can understand what's going on with our world. What's trying, well, you know, all these stories about Greek mythology, and I learned Greek mythology back when I was in elementary school. I never got it, but later on, when I started looking into this stuff only a couple years ago, that I started connecting the dots as to what these stories were really trying to say with these people. You know, and, and not just Greek mythology with Egypt and Medusa and, and all these characters with the snake and, and, and the woman in the Garden of Eden and all this reptilian shit. It's the snake. It's the serpentine race. Serpentine race. No, it's not it. I just want to. I just want to look this up real quick. <laughs> that's a suitable picture. I think that's from a movie. People always talk about this whole reptilian thing. It's a snake. It's a snake. That's a more suitable picture of what you're looking at there with all this whole snake stuff. But anyways, just wanted to just wanted to come to kind of clear that up there. So you always have to be looking into this stuff. Like I said, I think that, you know, Lucifer, the devil, is actually pronounced Lucifer, and that this is this character in the Garden of Eden with the snake. It was already there. She tempted Eve to eat the forbidden fruit. She went out and fucked with demons because it was, it was Lucifer that tempted Eve because it was a chick, and, and she told her that she couldn't get the power because God didn't give it to me, so, you know, take this and I'll give you all the power, and and so it was a fall, and that's what caused the, the, the shit that we see today with feminism and all this all this crap and, and the snake and the serpent and and all this stuff. It's all these characters like Medusa and Lilith and Ishtar and Ayana and, and all this stuff. It all goes back to Lucifer, which I believe was a bride. And this is just showing you with the snake race and what, what this Lucifer chick fucked around with was the was the the serpentine race, that, you know, and so all these characters, Lilith and the snake and all this other stuff, it all just ties them together. So anyways, that's all I wanted to say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for all the comments, by the way. Um, uh, you guys sent me, a couple of my commenters sent me some stuff I'm going to look into. Um, and I might make a video about it, but it just comes to show you, like, uh, the leopard print stuff, you know, with the with the women wearing leopard print and, and um, you know, snake skin purses and all this kind of shit. <clears throat> it all just ties in. I just thought this was interesting. Oh, by the way, I just saw something. What was that picture? What was that picture at? This, like, this kind of, I thought, looked like the black sun, which was Saturn. Anyways, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good one. Appreciate the comments. Like I said, just connecting dots, just trying to figure out more information about this. And uh, just thought it'd be something a little interesting, a little change of pace, a little something different to kind of uh, bring up on my channel. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. So one, <clears throat> one other thing I just noticed when I was looking at these pictures, first of all, the Sphinx, you see how the Sphinx looks like this? You see these things right here? They look like a cobra. It looks like a cobra. You know a cobra has like a hood? A cobra has a hood that kind of pops out? Here, let me show you. You see this? How it does that? Right here? I kind of think that this kind of looks like that. And see right here? You see this little thing right here? That's a cobra. That's a cobra. That's a freaking cobra. Let's see here. You see this thing right here? That's a that's a cobra on the forehead. That is a that is a cobra. This thing is a cobra. The Uranus, I think. What is that? Uranus. Yeah, the Uranus or cobra was symbolic of the north 
of northern Egypt on the upper forehead of the Sphinx is clearly seen the Uranus or Cobra. I think it's called, I think that's pronounced Uranus, Uranus, whatever, Uranus. The Cobra, and is made from the stone of the Sphinx itself. The, tall, the tail of the Cobra is missing today, perhaps it once sat on the forehead of the Sphinx head part of the cobra has been broken off as the nose has fallen as the nose has and false beard however the two foot limestone piece of the eyes and the mouth of the sphinx cobra was found between the paws of what however the two foot limestone piece with the eyes and the mouth of the sphinx's cobra was found between the paws of the sphinx and now in the british museum it has been it has the dimensions of length of 59 centimeters wide, 33 centimeters in height and 30 centimeters. Since the Sphinx had only had a cobra Uranus and a perm as a permanent part of it, therefore was a symbol of northern Egypt, it was clear sign that all the great Sphinx was ruling the north and had the Hebrews and the Baal, Baal, Zephron, lord of the north. You see all this stuff right here, these Egyptians, see the cobra, you see this here? With the, with the hood, it's because it's a cobra, it's a snake, it's part of, these Egyptians are part of the snake lineage, I think. See here with the cobra, this is this, head, this hood with the sphinx, the cobra in the middle, the center with the head. Now what I found was interesting was when I was looking at this picture in the video going over it, you see this little picture right here? You see that little picture right there? It looks like a snake, it looks like a cobra. Does it not? Let me see if I can pull it up. You see this thing right here? Hold on. Let me see if I can blow this picture. I don't think I can. Nope, I can't. Okay. That looks like a frick. It looks like see. It's a snake. It's a tongue. You see this? The forked tongue. That's a what's a snake? That's a fucking cobra, man. What is that doing in a picture with a cat? I.e. the sphinx, the cat, the snake, the cobra. You see what I mean? What is that doing there? What is that doing there? That's ridiculous. National Geographic kids, the fucking snake. Okay. Again, here's Isis with the wings. What is a snake doing in there? What is that thing doing in there? What is a snake doing in this picture? But... <laughs> <It's ridiculous. laughs> oh, this, this is why I love researching this stuff. You just find stuff, you're like, wow, that's unbelievable. It's, so, it's, just, it's a snake with the cobra in the center. That's what the sphinx was. Most people don't ever catch that. I didn't catch it. That little thing right there is a cobra. This hood is a cobra. This person was part of the snake lineage. The Egyptians, the Sphinx, was part of the snake lineage. I just thought that was interesting. I was just uh, going back and, and looking at watching my video, making sure I got everything, and I just I stumbled. I looked into the picture, and I was like, "Holy shit, that's a snake!" This is a cobra. This is a cobra hood, and there's a snake right there in the middle, like this right here. It's all this stuff. So, anyways. Just thought that was interesting. I wanted to add that in there. Okay, I keep I keep forgetting to add in stuff because you know, like I said, you just forget stuff. There's a lot to cover, but I want to show you something with the cross. You know that X? Remember the seal of Saturn? This this picture here. Remember the seal and then the woman's DNA and all that stuff I was telling you about. The symbol for Saturn. is this. You see the cross right here? This cross right here. You see this? This is the seal for Saturn, and then this is the cross. This is why I'm telling you, this is I think why they crucified Jesus on a cross. Because they knew that this cross symbolized Saturn. You just have to turn the picture and it's an X. And so when you look at things like this, See the cross here? With the cross here. There's the seal of Saturn with the cross, the XX, you see what I'm talking about? That's seal. You see what I'm talking about? So I think when they when they did the crucifixion, they, they fuck you know, they this is why they did it, because it was symbolized this. This whole thing right here. That's what the cross is with the cross with the female symbol, the X, the cross. So, that's, oh, here's the Jewish sign, see what I'm saying? Well, that's a nice picture to add to that, isn't it? <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to add that in there, too, so. 
All right, last last one. I just I think I figured this whole thing out with the cat. I was doing this, so check this out. The whole thing with the Egyptians and the cats. So this is why they worship the cat. Because the cat, I was, I was looking at this thing, remember with the snake? Bas, Bastet was a goddess. This is why they worship the cat, because it's the it's the chick, it's the broad. It was a goddess who could turn who could become cat. So they worship a cat because that what apparently the cat could the 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 chick or whatever this Isis Iana Ishtar Lucifer Lucifer this whole thing again could turn into a cat so they worship the broad again they worship the woman it says your bastard was a goddess who could turn who could become a cat let me look this up this is why they worship the cat this is why chicks like cats and all this crap all ties into this uh, yeah, you see here? This is this uh, Ish Isis character. You see, remember the picture I showed you with 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 those people with those women at the at the Donald Trump protest? With the women's march in Washington with the cat. Remember this? Remember what I told you? Lion roaming the earth seeking who may devour the woman, the cat, Isis Ishtar? And then it says here, Beska was a goddess who would become a cat. And you see here? See this? You see that? She could turn herself apparently into a cat. That's why they worshipped it, because it was the symbolic of the cat. That's why the Egyptians worshipped the cat, because they were worshipping the broad. And this character is the same one. You see the wings? That's Isis. Remember? See the cat? Turn goddess. It was a goddess. It means it was broad. Turn herself into a cat. Remember that, that tattoo that Rihanna chick I showed you? See the wings? See the wings? Isis. Is, the Isis character is the same one. It's the Lucifer character, the broad, the chick. That's why it's a woman with the snake, as you can see here. Goddess of the throne. Remember when I showed you that book about the demonic wiki who wanted to exalt herself above the throne of all heavens? Goddess on the throne, you see what I'm saying? With the snake. It looks kind of like a, 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 a vulture, but it's, it's a snake, as you see, it's wrapped around. With the hood. That looks like it's uh, like bird wings. It's a hood. Because it's a cobra. It's a snake. The woman being the snake, you see? With the cat. So, that's the last video. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, just add that in there. There's a lot of stuff. Like I said, many, it takes a long time. There's a little bit, there's things everywhere. If you just know what you're looking at, you can go off, you can just go off into the oblivion with this stuff. What is this? Goddess Isis with the cross. What is this? This is interesting. Oh, this whole thing with the with the kid, like breastfeeding or whatever, it's the mother, the mother character, which is the broad, which is Lucifer, because it's Mother Earth, like I said, Mother Earth, the one that rules this place, which is Lucifer. Giving birth, giving birth to the creation. Or whatever, because you know. So the resurrection of Isis is labor of love. Some people say, you know, this is a stretch, but I, I can I can show you. But some people say that. As a matter of fact, why not? Before I have to add in, <laughs> before I have to add another video. Christ, the Christ and the cross. Actually, I think was a woman. what they say. I'll look, I'll, I'll save that for later. That's, I'll save that for later. But, like I said, I just wanted to add that in there with, with that. So, anyways.